everyone, it's Kingsley here. I'm in a place called Tiraspol in Transnistria and I'm actually walking over a bridge over the Nistria at the moment, the River Nistria, so hence the name of the place, Transnistria. And I've been here for, well, nearly a week, having a wonderful time with the church here. There are people who I met when I was in a conference that we run over in Brashoff with, with uh, Pastor Yosef. And so they invited me to come and speak. And so I've been here for a week working with the church and I've had a fantastic time. Here we are in the church in Tiraspol with my friends. And this is Elijah, who's lived in Northern Ireland for, I mean, imagine, imagine coming to Eastern Europe and, and, and Elijah, my friend who's interpreting for me, has lived in Northern Ireland. Just say, say hello. Hello. I want to thank you for praying for me and for Kathy and the kids at home. It has been the most exhausting week. I've started off each morning. They have a prayer meeting at six o'clock in the morning and they started it in January and felt that they couldn't finish. I think they were started for 21 days and they're on about day 123 or something at the moment. A little bit like my daily verse, you know, you start it and then you can't stop it because it blesses people. And so every morning we've been gathering early, we've been worshiping together and sharing the word with each other. Church is just filled with young people. And that's been the most striking thing about it, teenagers and younger, but in the meetings I'm in, mainly teenagers who take the lead. And it's been wonderful to be with them and see how they're taking hold of God in this place that's a Russian controlled place. I was here on May the 9th. It's May the 7th, I think, in the rest of Europe, but they have this victory day. You'll have seen it on TV where, it's particularly in Russia, when Putin has his display of the armory. Well, they do the same here. But I came along in on the evening to the beautiful center of the city with some of the young people and with Elijah particularly. And we uh, had watched the fireworks. It was wonderful. Behind me, you'll see the eternal flame. That's lit for all of those who died during the war. Behind me, over on the other side, you'll see those their government offices there and a statue of Lenin out in front of that. They've based what they do in the church on reaching young people, children and, and young people. And then they have lots of satellite churches in the villages all around. So it's a wonderful principle. I spoke at two of the youth meetings on the Saturday. In fact, I've been speaking practically all the time. On one of the days, I went with one of the pastors, Pastor Sergei and his wife, Natalie. Natalie's my interpreter. And we had a fantastic time. Went to the villages. They wanted to show me the villages where they're working. One of the villages, it's a brand new church building and we prayed there for that, that God would give it to them. That building will cost, it costs 4,000, the property and the building. I mean, the, the building will need renovation totally. But the actual property is way below value. It's a miracle how they came across it. But $4,000 is what it's gonna cost. And that's in a place with no real Christian, well, very little Christian witness. So they'll work with the children. So here I am at, at uh, these are all pear trees. I guess, I would say it's probably an acre and a half to two acres, this site and they they've have a vision for this village. And so they've, they've already got this deal, this house, uh, which needs redoing. And they, they're gonna, the, the mayor has told them they're gonna have half of the next field as well. They'll have a football ground in there. What the church do is they start with the youth. And this, uh, they did a deal, which is far cheaper than anywhere else in town for 4,000. This is $4,000 for the whole church site. Could you believe that? They put 500 down, they're believing God for the rest of it. So maybe somebody watching today would, would have $4,000. That's what it'll cost them. Three and a half thousand to finish off the 
the payment for this site and then there's paperwork to do as well so it's around four thousand dollars will buy this complete church then of course they've got to do the work and they'll do that themselves a lot of it but isn't that incredible this is in transnistria it's a, a russian controlled place but god is moving in an amazing way here so now we went right down to the ukrainian border i was 500 meters from ukraine couldn't go any closer because there are landmines all over the, the border, so it's, you have to be very careful when you're down there. But there's a wonderful church there, and I had a lovely time with them. Just a small group of people, they've got no toilets, no washing facilities, nothing. And so the church is, is building all of that. They're building showers, washing, washing machines, they're going to wash clothes, they're going to look after the kids, they've got good toilet stuff, but telling them about Jesus. And I had the most wonderful time sharing with them. And they they have lived in fear. Uh, I mean, I'm on the Russian side, so you can imagine being across here with the war that's in the Ukraine. A lot of people felt that Transnistria would be pulled into that war. And they've had the drones come across, not knowing what they were going to do them. Those drones were, of course, coming from the Ukraine. And so they were very worried, but God's done a great work with them. And it's just exciting to see what he's doing in the villages here. And that's part of their plan, to reach the villages and then bring all those kids in here for big celebration. Right, it reminded me of when Kathy and I started Kids Zone. It was so similar to what our vision was, just on a much bigger scale. Most of my time, my teaching this week, has been with leadership groups. So I've met with the leaders of one group, the leaders of other, I've had all the leaders together. I've had at least three days of leadership meetings, which has been incredible. And, and the thing is, they've heard the word of God. God brought me a, a word. I've been speaking, as you know, many for uh, through the whole COVID time on Beersheba. And I brought some of the principles from that to them. And the amount of people who've come up to me afterwards and said, God spoke to me. That word was for me was just, overpowering really so I've been really blessed by the way God has used the words that I've brought and it's been wonderful and then I shared on the Sunday with the church two meetings on the Sunday same meeting repeated twice and so this is a big church doing a fantastic work here in a Russian controlled territory that doesn't exist according to any books but it is here let me tell you so I want to thank you this morning for praying for me and praying for Kathy for Jemima and and Jacob and Isaac at home. Uh, I know many of you realize that we need covering as a family. It's been the most exhausting time. They have PowerPoints for everything, so when I've not been speaking, I've been arranging notes for them, working back and forward. They have meals in the church, so I'm zipping back and forward all the time. But it's been really wonderful, a time when God has spoken to his people, and, and they've taken it as that. It's wonderful for me as a preacher when I can go into a place, deliver what God has given me, but for them to accept it as from the Lord, that's the most exciting time. So I'm going away from here knowing that God has done something and left the deposit that will be built on here. So thank you for praying for us. I really appreciate that. I need that so much in the places that God has taken me to. But I'm so grateful and thank you for just looking after us. Thank you for having our back over this last week. One of the special things here this week has been the worship. They have their own way of doing it like every church does. But there's so many young people and their enthusiasm is incredible. So just have a little watch of this. Hope you'll enjoy.